Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to use the Talkly supported spindle with some cotton. Spindle spinning is so much fun. If you've done it, you know. If you haven't, I urge you to give it a try. And just always keep in mind, like anything new in life when you're starting, it can feel strange and frustrating at first, stick with it you will get to a place where it is tremendously fun and you will just have hours of soothing enjoyment the topley is fabulous it is sturdy small easy to carry around spins fast and it's just lovely i have a john galen topley spindle i've been watching his stuff on instagram for months and months he makes beautiful spindles and when the time came to get a Talkley, I knew I wanted to get it from John Galen Designs. And it is. It is stunning. It's small, but stunning. I love it. The Talkley spindle was started in India in the 1920s by Mahatma Gandhi. He wanted a light, small, durable spindle so that everybody could use it. He wanted the production of hand spun to go up within the country so they would not have to import so much fabric. They could produce it themselves. Then second, he just wanted a soothing, calming activity available to everyone. And it truly is. It was then introduced to the United States in the 1970s, and by the 1980s, they were being made here. I have a cotton puni here. What I'm gonna do is I just fold over the end just a little bit so that the hook will not slide out. Then I attach the hook and I catch some of the fiber so you can feel it catch. Now I spin with my left hand, you can pick whatever hand you like and spin in whatever direction you like. I have my left hand and I spin away from me and I have it hooked there. I can feel the twist in the fiber and I'm just gently gonna work it out into it before I get really rolling. Draft it out. Like the park in the draft. Just want to get the nice leader going. Before I do anything, I'm going to pinch it right before the cotton puny, give another couple flicks to add more twist. Then I'm going to bring the strand down to the base of the tockley. I'm going to wind on just a little bit so that it gets me right here to where I can start rolling. Now there is a hook here, but I find that I end up spending more time messing around getting it hooked on the hook than if I were just to start to spin and then it ends up hooking on there. So it doesn't really matter either way because there's a lot of spindles that don't have a hook at the top. I treat this one like this. All right, so now we're just going to get it going. Okay, in the beginning, I'm parking and drafting, but the goal for me to get to, I get the twist traveling up to the point where I'm lightly holding on to the cotton puny, and the twist is going into this nice, what I want to call a triangle right here, where the cotton is just getting pulled away from the puny, and that's where the magic is. When you don't have to pull very hard, the twist just travels up and you can move right along with it. It also, I find it helps when there's more weight of the yarn on the tockley. Like right now there's nothing there but the weight of the tockley itself. So pretty soon when there's more of the spun yarn on the tockley, then you can get to that zen place. All right, so here we go again. I wrapped some on. Next time I'll show you that slower. Just work it up towards the top. I did a little too much. Up towards the top and get ready to go again. I'm loosely holding on to this. Give a nice spin. And you see the triangle right here? Pretty neat. And I give a little pull to see, but I'm still lifting the tockley off. Now when you get a slub like that, I pull a little bit, give a little tug to see if it'll work out, spin it, 
some good spin in there, a little tug on there. Another thing you can do is just work it with your hands. This beautiful cotton is workable. Sometimes it actually feels like you're dealing with taffy. It just is a really cool feeling because it's very stretchy and it moves. All right, now once you have it drawn out, pinch at the top, give another couple flicks because we want good twist in there. We're gonna back it down and wrap it back up. Now, I did that kind of fast. You just unwind it a little bit so that your yarn is at the base and then you wrap it up. Just hold a slight tension on it so that it's not a sloppy mess on the spindle. Also, I've seen people make beautiful cops on their spindle. I just want to get it on there so that I can go back to the really fun part of spinning. So something I wanted to talk about is that I am a joyful spinner. I spin just to make myself happy and then whatever my outcome is, I work with it in whatever manner I can. So that means however my yarn turns out, I'm gonna find a way to work with it. Now, there are people that say there's a right and a wrong way to spin things, like a right direction and a wrong direction. I then, if you are a perfectionist, if you are looking for that right or wrong way, I ask you to research that further. For me, and for the joy of the spinning, and if that is how you feel like doing it, just grab it and start working with whatever hand it feels comfortable in whatever direction you want. Whatever direction you spin in, just remember to ply in the opposite direction. All right, so just remember, be patient, stick with it, have fun. Thanks for watching and happy spinning on your Talkly Spindle. If you're enjoying this programming, I invite you to become a supporting member. You can go to Patreon, Rehash Fiber, or click on the link in the description. There you can give as little as $3 a month, and it helps with the general support of keeping the show going. As a Patreon member, you'll get access to behind the scenes videos and other special things that come along. And as a little thank you gift, you'll get the Rehash Fiber pin.